Hi guys, welcome to Kimmy from Mason's Library. Today I'm here with you to do R2D2 mason jars. So I decided to do this because yesterday was May 4th, which was May the 4th be with you from Star Wars, so I thought we'd do a fun Star Wars craft. So um, let's get started and I'll show you what you'll need for our craft today. So you'll need, um, I have some stuff drawn on mine, so don't, don't just ignore that, So I'll show you later. Um, a mason jar. You can use a mason jar, or if you don't have one, you can use like a pasta sauce, like an empty pasta sauce jar to make pasta one day. You can use like a tin can, like a can of like corn, and then you can, if you use the corn, you can use the, the tin can. You can really use anything, even if you have like a water bottle and you just cut the top with the, the lid on it, like kind of off, and just you want to use it for like pencils. You can even use that, um, really just be creative on things you can find to use to make and paint on. So, um, yeah, so I had this mason jar left over from our uh, make your own butter activity a couple weeks ago, so I thought I would use it for something else. So, um, the next thing you'll need is you'll need some white paint. Um, uh, gray paint is optional, you don't have to. Um, I painted my lid gray just so it matched, and mine was gold, so I just painted it. But um, that's up to you, that's optional. Uh, black paint, and then some blue paint and then red paint and then i also put on um, some other options if you don't want to have the paint you can always use like markers but i have these colorful assorted markers that i could use as well but that's optional as well so if you don't have the paint and you have the markers use that or vice versa and then you'll just need some assorted paint brushes i always use q-tips too they're really helpful in painting as well and just paper towel water plates something to catch your paint so like a mat or some newspapers or whatnot so um so yeah let's get push you guys down and we'll get started so i used um a pencil to trace my design first hopefully you guys can see it um i did use marker so i'll show you two different ways i did it i painted another one but i painted the inside of it and not the outside and this one i painted the outside on so um if you're using markers I would recommend painting on the inside of it and then drawing on on the outside um, to, if you're using like a jar because um, when I did it with the marker, it was very hard. You could do it with a marker, but it's very hard in the paint. You don't want to mess up the paint or anything. So you could use a marker on the paint. That's fine if you want to. Um, like, it, like I said, it didn't like get every, like in all those parts and it was kind of rough to do it in ink and the marker was acting strange. So. If you want to do the marker on the outside, paint the inside, and then um, draw on the outside with the marker. But um, I did two coats for each of them, and then um, I just drew a pen with pencil, um, like a rectangle right on the top, and then a circle. I painted already, so I didn't get any blue in it. I like a smaller rectangle, another like square on this side, and then just three lines. And this is a super simple RGD too. Um, if you want to try something a little bit harder or whatnot, um, you can. I just didn't want to make it too complicated for you guys. It's just something, a simple, easy craft. But if you look up on like Pinterest or on Google, uh, Star Wars mason jars, um, you should be able to find some. If you want to try different characters, you can. I Like I said, I just chose R2-D2 because he was super easy to do with you guys. So I'm just painting um, this top square. Mine's gonna be super messy because I'm kind of rushing here, but um, I'm I'm painting the top rectangle blue. And I'm trying to try to be neat, but go really fast. It helps when you trace it because then you get a nice rectangle shape that you want. Sorry, I'm like trying to be neat, but fast at the same time. So I'm like focused. I already did the black circle just so I had, um, didn't get any blue paint in it because then it wouldn't have dried fast enough. Should have done with the little red circle, but I wanted to show you with the Q-tip because I used this black circle with the Q-tip and it worked awesome. So definitely recommend instead of using like a small paintbrush. Even though I had a small paintbrush, I used the Q-tip because it came out so much better. It's a lot easier to control, especially when you're doing like a round object. 
Q-tip was very helpful. Okay. And guys, I am now putting all these videos on YouTube. So if you don't like to come on Facebook and watch them, I'll be posting them on YouTube as well. So if you know someone that wants to do these videos that didn't have a Facebook, tell them they're on YouTube now. Our YouTube name is Beardsy Library and you can go on our Beardsy Library website on our quarantine link, quarantine fun, ticket of fun, and you can find um, the link to our YouTube. And then there's more things on there. We have some genealogy things, some adult things, some more kids things as well. Okay. Like I said, I'm kind of doing this quick, so I'm trying to paint it quick. I like the beta and I'm painting it, but I didn't want the live to only be like five minutes long. Okay, so I'm going to show you the, the little circle right here since I'm getting close. Just take a Q-tip and then you just put it like right there. And then it's just so much easier when you're doing circles. And boom. And also if you're tracing like um, with your pencil, um, if you mess up and like right here I messed up and I did a little too long and you can kind of still see it, you can just um, go over it again with white paint like at the end. And if you want to touch up any of your other side, you can do that. Okay. I might just skip that for right now. And then um, they have some lines right here. Um, I don't know if I want to use like a, maybe I'll use a Q-tip again. See how that goes. Put a good amount of paint on my Q-tip. Oh, yeah, that, that works good. I think I like the Q-tip because it's a nice straight line. Okay, perfect. And I made the, the lines just like thin, but they're supposed to be a little bit thicker. So I think the Q-tip will work really well with that too. Careful, don't get any paint on yourselves. The only thing with the Q-tips, they have some like, I don't think you see it, some like runaways over here, some fuzz. So um, use a new one if you need to. Use the other side if it gets too fuzzy. After you use it a little while, it'll get a little fuzzy. I think the lines are the hardest part because I'm trying to make them even. And there we go. Almost done. Cool. This one's, like I said, RTG2 was a little bit easier than the other ones. They had um, like a Dark Vader one you could do. They had a Yoda one, which was really cool. He was cool. I almost did him, but um, there were some materials that were kind of a little bit more difficult, and I didn't want you guys going out for stuff if you already had most of this stuff and everything. So um, I just chose this one because it was a lot easier. They had a Chewbacca one as well, but um, whoever did it used like uh, the fur like fabric, which was really cool around it. I really would like to do that one. Maybe I'll do that one for um, like a summer reading program. And then I can hopefully we can um, provide you with some curbside stuff to do the che che Chewbacca one. And yes, summer reading is going to continue this year. You will not be stopping it. So keep an eye out for summer reading schedule. And hopefully we can figure out a way to do it with you guys. It probably won't be in person. It'll probably be all online, sadly, but that's just how it everything is right now. So look out for some summer reading stuff for teens and kids, and I think we might be doing adults too. And then 
there you go. So that's my R2D2 mason jar. So um, if you have the lid, you can put like the lid on as well. Um, you can make it like a use it as a piggy bank. If you um, don't have the lid, you can use it as like a pencil holder. I think I'm gonna use mine as a pencil holder when we get back to the library. But um, he was super easy to do. Just some simple squares and circles and rectangles. Um, you can obviously, like I said, you can go online. There's some more like in depth. RTD2 ones, but like I said, just want to do it simple for you guys. There's something super easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and um, check out our YouTube. It has all our crafts on it and everything. And um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.